when we look at modern day Aboriginal groups who, who, who give us, I think, some really extraordinary insights into the way in which our ancestors lived for hundreds, hundreds of thousands of years, what we find typically is they have different modes or different gears that they go into. And they have these extraordinary seasons of rejuvenation and rest and recreation. And it might be a few months where they're kind of, you, you, you gave that lovely image of watching the paint dry. I mean, it's a few steps, steps up from that, right? I mean, they're still, they're still in the game, but they might, if we can just use, you know, a sort of quanti pseudo quantitative metric, like maybe they're going at half speed while they're getting recharged and replenished and rejuvenated. And then they will inevitably have stretches of maybe a few weeks, maybe a couple months where they're like, a, you know, when you're playing back your podcast on 2X or 1.5X or what, you know, where, where it's just full tilt. And, but they're ready for it because they've put in the work uh, and, and I use that word ironically, they put in the work of rejuvenating, of allowing themselves. And I think so many of us in the modern world, especially if we're prone to drivenness and high achievement or wanting to achieve at a certain level, we get caught up in a culture of, I've just got to be, you know, I've got, I've got to be going full tilt, 24-7, 365. And that is absolutely, I think as you so um beautifully put it, it's just a recipe for burnout and eventually even for, for worse because our bodies and our brains and our minds, at some point they're gonna break down if if we don't if we don't take those those really, really important seasons of, of rejuvenation.